Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, April Outturn is fast approaching. Where has the year gone? That means first quarter is behind us. A April Outturn is hit. Autumn is in the air. And we have collected a bunch of whiskies for April Outturn for Music and Malts, which we're really proud of. And we are so looking forward to sharing with you as members. Now, Malt of the Month is a special bottling that we get to pick out every month where we have uh, a good supply and we think it's a great cask and we get to offer it up at a price that is really appealing. In this case, it's not just any old bottling. It's 149.7. Uh, it is a coal scuttle of jam and treacle. That sounds pretty tasty to me. It's a seven-year-old peated whiskey with the Bob Dewar artwork, which you can see a little bit closer up here. The, the new wave, it says, celebrating new distilleries with the original master. The original master in this case is Bob Dewar. Now, Bob Dewar is the guy, is the artist, which you can read about in a previous issue of Unfiltered Magazine, if you're checking your Unfiltered Magazine each month, which you should be. He is the artist who did the ceilings at the vaults. And he's also the, responsible for all those um, crazy caricatures and, and, uh, and little persona figures of the society's early artistic history of who we were uh, and really who we still are uh, in those those fun examples of where flavor was at the center of what we're doing in 1983 and is the center of what we're doing in 2024. So we get to offer up these bottlings, which is a series of new wave labels that came through the SMWS. Most of them came out in the UK last year. We're happy to offer them up to members in Australia just this year as well. Um, and this one is a seven year old, 61.7% from distillery, 149 so a pretty late code but that's the whole idea of the new wave it's showcasing those new distilleries from which um are worth celebrating because there's so many good new distilleries popping up across the world but across scotland as well of showing um scotland is of course part of the world but you know what i'm saying where they are they have their own um new world new wave of distilleries popping up everywhere and society is thankfully at the forefront of celebrating those new distilleries with casks that we filled ourselves at these distilleries um, seven years ago. Um, so this is a full maturation sherried whiskey, first fill Spanish oak Oloroso peated whiskey. So sweet and peat. Let's have a just a little nose and taste here. It's appropriately sherry sort of colored in the glass here. Oh, that's just, it's not immediately like a peat bomb in, in, in the glass, which is kind of welcome. It's not just that straight away, like, you know, brush a peat in the face. I get actually the sweetness first and foremost. I can, uh, straight away, I get this lovely earthiness, uh, this lovely sort of velvety earthiness, uh, this textural note to the nose. A bit of sort of like, um, like damp earth immediately like quality sherry cask like this is a quality sherry butt one of those ones that's got like there's lovely rounded edges and, and soft ruby sort of notes to it but i get what it says about coal scuttle of jam and shake the jam again like it's just black jam black currant so i immediately get those jammy notes and i know exactly what the panel meant by that but i also get the coal like the uh, coal dust cocoa dust um like coal and cocoa together. It's chocolatey, it's smoky, it's so sweet and lovely. It's, smo it's smoked jam. It's smoked jam on toast on a Sunday morning. Oh, how good is that? Like almost uh, like a smoky chili jam or something, but with like, I'm gonna have a taste. Mm. That's an easy drink. That's an easy to drink whiskey. 61.7%. You'd think it'd be like just fire and brimstone, but it's not. It's like, it's clean, it's soft, it's fruity, lovely coal smoke, old school. And this is the kind of whiskey as well from a distillery that is renowned for its um, old school production methods and uh, the love of how they're producing whiskey. And I love their core range and I love their independent bottling and I love their society bottling, the society bottling that we've had from this distillery. Doing my best not to say the distillery, but I can tell you, it's very hard to get to. It's the most westerly point of the mainland uh, on the Ardnamurkin coast of Scotland. 
If that doesn't tell you what distillery it is, then I don't know what else will. But I can't, I won't say the name, but I will say that this is so exciting to see this new wave series and being able to offer up one of these new wave casks as malt of the month to go with that music and malts month. We won't film all of it, but I'm gonna need another 10, 15 minutes with this tram. But in the meantime, any questions about April Outturn, pop them in the comments. I'd love to hear more about what you'd like to see on our channel, of course, as well. Hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, hit the like button, share it around. And of course, if you're not a member of the society yet, check it out, why aren't you? The biggest regret we hear from members is why didn't I join sooner? That's the number one bit of feedback we get. Anyway, Sanjava, however you are, wherever you are, enjoy good whiskey and in good company. Cheers.